Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I'm going to be presenting to you our business plan, which we call Franklin Lawn Care and Outdoor Service, LLC. Um, together, uh, our group is Adam Wood, you'll see him later on in the PowerPoint, John Riley Graham, you'll see him, and Austin Hall. Um, we decided to go with a lawn care service because in Franklin Parish, we don't have many lawn care services besides like individual people. So we decided we need one whole company and it will be a good long-term goal. Everybody's gonna use us. I mean, small communities, the word gets out. Um, we'll explain all that. So the history and background of landscaping goes all the way back to the Greek and Roman periods. It was really for the wealthier, um, demographic of those times because not everybody had the money the equipment to do lawn care and you know flower beds and stuff like that to make their castles look pretty so you know they hired your forced people to do their stuff back then it was pretty crooked but nowadays we have modernized landscaping equipment where even the poor families can can do their lawn services as they must. Um, so not everyone has those resources, those they may not own a lawnmower, they may not have the money for that. So they need to come in and hire somebody to do their lawn, at least temporarily. Um, other people may not even have the time on their hands to do uh, the lawn care services. So we'll come in and do those things for them. Um, with where we live in Franklin Parish, well, besides Austin, um, we do yard work. We do all these things pretty much every day. We have a job. Um, and our rural background helps us with understanding the equipment and services that we must apply to these other people's lawns. And the lawn care business is a super growing industry as the years go. All right, so for short-term goals, we primarily want to rely on personal capital and funding. We will seek aid from family, close friends, so pretty much everything that we do put into the business, we'll have to earn ourselves. The first year will be just the four of us. We'll all have different jobs, but ultimately, we'll all probably work on the lawns together. Uh, we we'll branch into more employees as our market grows. So over time, as in the five years, the 10 years, the future goals, we we'll acquire more people, we'll probably out offer space and stuff like that too. Yeah. Routine basic lawn care during the first three to five years, from which we'll all work on that. Mowing, weed eating, wheat blowing, and seasonal services. Advertise the family and close friends with services. Probably have ads, you know, once you can put a cool banner you can put on your yard, have our truck around, put our logo all over the back of the truck, stuff like that, and we've slowly gained public interest through referrals and local advertising. So our long-term goal as a business is to eventually be the top lawn care and landscaping LLC in the Northeast region of Louisiana. As we grow, we would begin branching out towards the surrounding parishes of Franklin, moving on and expanding our reach. We plan to offer more specialized services as the time goes on, depending on who our customers are and the equipment that we have and being able to meet everyone's needs and wants. We plan to have the ability to meet high demands on a daily basis with the growing number of employees that we're creating. And we plan to further our advertising department with a website, a company, t-shirts, caps, logos, and all kinds of other things. Services, not all of them, but not limited to mowing, front yard, backyard, any kind of yard, we'll mow it. Uh, weed eating, uh, weed blowing, no matter if it's on the concrete or if it's on the roof, anything like that. Wood cutting, mulching, pressure washing, we also do houses too. Uh, fence building, hedge bush trimming, limb pickup, raking, we also do seasonal jobs just as snow trimming no plowing, anything like that.
Our form of ownership is going to be an LLC. We chose this because it has flexible tax advantages for both us as individual owners of the business and for the business itself. An LLC also stands out to lenders and customers because it offers limited liability to both us and our consumers. And the process by which we become an LLC is choosing and reserving a name with the state department, consulting and selecting a with the registered agent, operating, filling out an operating agreement, and completing the article of organization. So for the team, like I said before, it initially be all, all four of us, all four of us, and that we'll all have different jobs, but each of us, when we first start, we'll all do the, take care of the lawn together. So Robert over there will be marketing, he'll take care of the ad, he'll be from the ads, we might get some ads that will be on YouTube or something, the, the logo, any kind of advertising we get, he will be in charge of that. John will take care of the finances, what money comes in, what money goes out, if we ever get an office building. He'll take care of all the statements and everything like that. I will take care of IT, hopefully throughout the years we'll figure out a system where you can book online, you can call, anything like that. We can have our own website, we can just, you can book it on there. And now it'll be easier for us to take, take care of it easier. We can also take credit card, debit, any kind of payments, not limited to just cash. And Adam, he'll just be take care of staff. So when we first started, he won't really need that job, but as we grow bigger throughout the years, he'll be like human resource, human resources, take care of the staff, uh, he'll hire, take care of everything like that. And all the employees, future employees we take care of, who are hired, will have need to have a high school diploma or GED. All right, so our marketing plan, um, at first we're gonna advertise through our friends, neighbors, and family, because that's how most small businesses are done. Um, over time, we're gonna gain referrals from those friends and families. We're gonna be like, hey, Franklin Lawn Care Services, we're gonna need them, they're really good. Um, here, here's their phone number. Um, once that gets spread around, as soon as we make our money, we're going to throw some ads in the newspaper, which our local newspaper is the Franklin Sun. That'll be pretty easy for us um, <clears throat> since we're working locally at first. And then we'll go through things like Facebook, social media, uh, Instagram. We'll probably <clears throat> throw in an Instagram page, even Snapchat for younger people. You never know. Um, and eventually develop a website with our IT guy, Austin. And we'll go through there with setting up appointments and things like that. Um, our competitors in marketing around Winsboro is really not many. It's a bunch of individual people. That's why our company is going to come in and try and take over and become big in our area and hopefully many surrounding areas. Um, our targets really include uh, the people, the elderly that just can't get out and mow their lawn and things like that. Um, obviously the rich, I mean, there are probably lazy people out there that don't want to mow their grass and they want to hire somebody and we'll be that person. We'll be that person. Um, friends obviously will mow their lawns whenever they need it. They can reach out to us pretty easily and busy workers, those that work off on the pipeline or that work in the oil fields, you know, and those that work from eight o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in the afternoon, they just can't get to their yard in time. We'll be there for them. So financially, we're looking to divide our services on a price-wise basis, as well as a per acreage basis. Bigger tasks such as mowing are gonna be at a $35 per acre basis. Smaller tasks such as weeding will be $10 per acre. We're going to add in some tasks such as mulching, which will be divided on a 10 by 5 yard basis, and they'll be around $15 per that size. Tasks such as pressure washing are going to vary depending on the amount of fuel that we use and also the amount of time that it takes to complete that task. Assets we're going to acquire along as the business progresses 
hooking to acquire various forms of equipment, um, purchase the land later on, and also acquire revenue throughout our business. The only liability we'll really have throughout the time is the SBA loan we're looking to take out in our second year. Um, we're looking to, um, as our outgoing cash flow, we're looking to spend towards our salaries, towards our expenses, and also to pay back our loan that we acquired in our second year. As an inflow of cash, we're looking to take in payments such as customers and other forms, whichever that may be. Our loan rate is going to be paid back at a quarterly rate of 5% towards the SBA. This is a rate that's affordable for us and also can keep the revenue, or not the revenue, the interest as low as possible. of risk and rewards, these are just circumstantial. The risk really amount to tight start competition, which means the competition that we're gonna be around is really tough and there's lots of it because they're individuals that, that um, provide the same select services that we're gonna provide as we get going. There's also limited funding for a business this small because it's so hard to acquire angel investors, other types of lenders for a startup business. And there's also always that possibility of do we get the money back? Do we return the payments to the lenders and the banks and whatever you may? There's also a high chance for reward. This can be a long-term investment for us that acquires many funds. We build it up over five or 10 years and it can be a good money-making machine for us if we run it the right way and spend our money correctly. There's also easy hiring. There's a high supply of workers for this type of business. A lot of workers are adaptable around Franklin Parish and they, lots of them have high school diplomas or accredited G GEDs, which is what we're looking in order to get our employees. This type of services are also always in demand, especially with COVID on the downturn in the state of Louisiana. People are going back to work and they need this type of service to keep their home in shape. We're also looking to provide good customer satisfaction through our high quality of service, our customer trust, customer loyalty, and easy access to payments. There's also a good chance that we get our easy return back. We acquire the funds that we need to quickly and we easily return the loan and other lenders as we move along. So just a quick breakdown of the statements that we have as we go along our business. There's a projected income statement that breaks down all of our revenue that we're looking to acquire, just as a projection again. It also breaks down the expenses and you can see at the bottom that we end up in the positive in the net income category. There's also a projected balance sheet, breaks down our assets, the prices on those, and also the liabilities and the prices. You also see the owner's equity, we end up with a positive on the owner's equity as well. But again, these are just projections. As a cash flow statement, we think it's important for our customers to see where our money is going, where we're spending it, where it's coming from. So, it's a good breakdown of that as well. All the numbers line up in the end, and we all line up in the positive category. Ultimately, our goal as a business is to provide quality, routine, lawn care, and landscaping services. We would start off in Franklin Parish and eventually branch out to surrounding parishes, capitalizing on all of Northeast Louisiana as we continue to grow and develop more specialized services, develop a better market, and develop more employee workforce. And we realize that we are taking big risks with doing this because there's no guarantee we'll get a successful return and there's no guarantee that we will be able to branch out as far as our goals. But we are also expecting high return because this field is in such demand right now with everything going on with COVID and with people having limited time and resources. And we plan to have more specialized services in various fields and streamline them so that they are efficient for our customers both time and quality, and we plan to keep our customer relationship as the main focus of our LLC so that our customers know that they are the most important thing to our business.